Bon dia! Good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi Taihutu and you might recognize me and my family from four years ago when we literally sold everything we owned, our house, our companies, our cars, our bikes, our clothes, went all into Bitcoin and started traveling the world. Now four years later, still traveling the world, now coming to you from the nature and Lagos in front of a big group of bulls. I want to wake the bulls for you guys. In today's video, we are going to talk mainly about the Bitcoin charts. I'm going to show you two crazy cool charts that will show you exactly where we will be heading with the Bitcoin price. And updating you guys about the car that probably tomorrow is going to be red, so it won't be white anymore. It will be a Bitcoin machine the next time you will see it. Enjoy today's video, guys. Maybe let's walk that way. Maybe we will find some bulls here. We can wake the bulls. Hi guys. Yes, let's see if we can see some bulls here in the middle of the nature of Portugal. Not on the beach today, guys. No, I'm showing you that Portugal is not only beautiful beaches, but also these kinds of nature. I don't even know where I'm walking. I'm just finding out, exploring this area around my house at the moment. And finally, guys, tomorrow is the day that they are going to wrap the car. So we'll bring the car tomorrow morning at 9 to the garage. It needs to be clean before I bring it. And then it's going to be wrapped in, I think, two days or something like that. So two days I will be carless, but again, we will find some beautiful spots here that I can walk to or whatever. I want to show you how the car evolves from a white car into this Bitcoin machina, Bitcoin Prime Machina, I should say, because yes, you know, Prime XBT and MachinaTrader.com both support us of this beautiful Portugal tour that we are going to do the next couple of months. And shit, yeah, there are some bulls here, or are these cows with horns? I can't tell the difference between a cow and a bull. Hmm. Maybe if we get closer, we can see the difference. Yesterday, by the way, I found a very beautiful spot. I'm going back there soon to make a video there because I, did, I don't think I have ever seen such a beautiful surrounding like I saw over there. I'm going back there again to film and talk about blockchain, Bitcoin and live in that spot because you will love that one as well. But first, let's get to the thing that we are going to talk about today because we have a very exciting week ahead of us. It's a beautiful Monday and it will be an amazing week where we will close this monthly candle on the 30th and we hope to have a close above 10,760, but we will need to see. Please tell me, are these bulls or are these cows, guys? You can see the difference probably. I'm not a farmer guy. I think they are bulls. A lot of bulls, we need to wake him. The black one is looking at me. Talking about bulls, let's take a look at the charts. Let's first start with this chart. Bam! On this chart, guys, you can see that we have 21 million bitcoins. As if you did not know yet that we only have 21 million bitcoins. But the cool thing on this chart is that you can see that we just surpassed the mining of 18,500,000 bitcoins. So this means we only have 2,500,000 bitcoins left to mine. And we will mine half of these coins so that it's 1.25 million in the next four years. The rest of the bitcoins will be mined between 2024 and 2140. So yes, that's another 120 years before the last bitcoin is mined. And 120 years, guys, is exactly 30 halvings. So I don't think I will be there when the last bitcoin is, be is being mined, but I hope that when this last bitcoin is being mined, people are still watching my YouTube videos. <laughs> oh shit. I um, think these bulls are like in an, in an space, open space. These bulls are not locked behind the fence. I thought they were locked behind the fence, guys. Check it. I just saw a guy walking here. This bull is really looking mad at me. They should love me, the bulls. I will continue my path. <laughs> I 
think I'd better leave them in peace, guys. Yes, there are some bulls and some cows together. But I found bulls in Portugal. This must be a sign. I think Bitcoin is going up. I just found bulls here in Portugal. On the streets. Bulls on the streets. Bitcoin must be going up. This is a sign. Where was I? Ah, I was disrupted by the bulls. But I was at this 30 halving, so I don't think I will be there uh, when the last Bitcoin is being mined. But hopefully they still remember that crazy family that went all into Bitcoin in 120 years so that me, my grandchildren and my grand-grandchildren will still see what we as a family did 120 years before they were being born. And guys, there is another chart, a really cool chart that I want to share with you guys because on this chart we can compare the Bitcoin four-year cycles. First, look at the chart so you understand what I'm saying. Bam! This one. Beautiful chart. In the top chart, you can see the two yellow lines above each other. In the bottom part of the chart, you can see the black line. I'm going to tell you what it is all about. On the top, you see two yellow lines. These two yellow lines represent the Bitcoin price. Bottom line, the bottom yellow line, you can see the 2012 to the 2017 bull run, how this one evolved. And the, the line above that one, the top yellow line, the top yellow line, you can see so you can see the line from 2016 to 2021 and the bottom yellow line is the 2012 to the 2017 bull run. In these lines you can see that in 2012 and 13 we went up, in 2014 we went down, in 2015 we went sideways and then in 2016 we slowly went up again and then you can see in 2017 we saw this massive bull run up to 20k all time high. And then if we take a look at the top line, we can see 2016 and 70 we went slowly up, like 2012 and 2013. Then 2018 we came down, the same like 2014, there's four years in between. Then 2019 we went kind of sideways, the same like 2015, four years before. Then we can see in 2020 we slowly start to curl up, just exactly like we did in 2016. 16 four years before so what do you guys expect now to happen in 2021 if you look at what happened in 2017 if this line is going to the if this line is going to create the same movement maybe a little less steep we will still see a bull run from now all the way up into the end of 2021 december to make it more clear guys, we are going to talk about the prices. So you can see the huge difference between the prices in those four years. So let's take a look at the 18th of June in 2012. The Bitcoin price at that moment was $6. If we then take a look at 18 June of 2016, four years later, the Bitcoin price was $750, around $750. That is 125 times the Bitcoin price of four years before. Let's take a look at, for example, 9 April 2013. Bitcoin was then around 230 US dollar. Four years later, 9 April 2017, Bitcoin price was around $1,200. This is a five-time movement. If you take a look, for example, at November, the 29th of November in 2013, Bitcoin was around 1130 US dollar. Four years later, the 29th of November 2017, Bitcoin was around 9,930 US dollar, nine times the price of four years before. You can take it even further. Let's take a look at um, 26th of June 2015. The Bitcoin price was around 250 US dollar. And then 26th of June in 2019, we saw a price of 12,900 US dollars. This is 53 times the price of 2015. Shitty slides here. We have a lot of flies here. I think they are attracted by all this bullshit. Then March 2016, guys, the Bitcoin price was around 416 US dollars. In March 2020, the Bitcoin price was around 5,000 US dollars. That's again 12 times the price of four years before. And now, guys, we are taking a look at the 25th of September of 2016. There, the Bitcoin price was 602 US dollar. Four years later, 25th of September 2020, the Bitcoin price was 10,650 US dollar. This is again multiplied by 18. So it's 18 times higher than four years ago. 
So if we take an average now of all these numbers, then we can see that we have an average growth of 37. One times we grew with 125 times, one times with 5 times, with 9 times, with 53 times, one times with 12 times, 18 times. So if you calculate these numbers, the average growth of Bitcoin has been 30 times 37 four years later. So now let's take a look at December 2017. So in 2017, December, Bitcoin was at 20K. So where do you think now that in December 2021, the Bitcoin price will be? If we calculate, if we calculate the lowest number, times 5, then the Bitcoin price should be around 100K. This is the plan B number. If we calculate the highest number, times 125, then the Bitcoin price will be around 2.5 million US dollar per Bitcoin. I don't think that that is going to happen because this is a little bit high, 2.5 million, but you never know. And if we take the average growth, 37 times, then the Bitcoin price should be around 740,000 US dollar per Bitcoin. So in all these numbers, we can see that we should see a higher Bitcoin price than the last all-time high. Even, guys, if we only grow like a smaller number than five times, let's say two times or two and a half times, we would still see a Bitcoin price of between 40 and 50K next year, December. So December 2021. This is if we would just be copying the movements of the previous bull run from 2012 to 2017. We would see this huge price increase from now till the end of 2021. That were the shards for today. As you used on Monday, I only do shards because there is not a lot of news in the weekend. So the news will be on Tuesday. I think when you zoom out a little bit more, you can see even better that the Bitcoin price will hugely increase in 2021. But let's see what is going to happen with all these Bitcoin prices. I want to thank you for watching today again. And please always remember to zoom out in crypto and to zoom in at life. Try to enjoy every single minute of the day as that is exactly what makes life worth living. Thank you for watching and see you tomorrow again. Bye.